It's Reezy, owner of the Reason Sports Network, reporting live at the Reason Sports Center. And today we have two of the best teams in Miami going at each other. The Miami Central Rockets versus the Booker T. Washington Tornadoes. These two teams feature a bunch of talent, but I think Miami Central is clearly the more talented team in this matchup. And we'll be focusing on them throughout this game. Like Tony Parks, who's a Patreon member. He was originally born in North Carolina, but he moved to Miami, Florida at the age of four after his parents separated. His mom didn't have any family in North Carolina, and with him being the only child, she wanted him to grow up around her side of the family. From the time he moved to Florida, he spent a lot of time with his grandfather who was a huge football fan and was also a head coach for a peewee team in Miami. His grandfather started training him to be a football player at the age of five, and when he turned six, he started playing for his peewee team. From the time he started training with his grandfather, he noticed that he was extremely fast for his age. When he started playing for his grandfather's football team, he was the fastest player on the team from day one. And it's been like that for every single team he's played on growing up. Now that he's in his freshman year of high school, he's looking to show out so he can become a D1 player and then go to the pros. There's a lot of pros that's gone to Miami Central, and Tony Parks just wants to be the next one. Curtis Rowe is another Patreon member that's been featured on his channel quite a lot. And recently, he went to the University of Miami where they played up against Clemson, and he was there on a visit, and he really enjoyed himself. Watch some of the footage from when he was at the game. We see two future stars right here. Malachi Pierre and Curtis Rose, two brothers, two star players that were born and raised in Miami, high school recruits. Curtis Rose on the left and Malachi Pierre is on the right. Curtis Rose plays for Miami Central High School and Malachi Pierre plays for Miami Northwestern High School, two of the most famous schools in Miami. And I heard Javier, Tony Dines, and some other guys on Miami were begging for these guys to come to the game today. And the last player that we'll focus on is Patreon member Ryan Baker, who's a straight up beast on the football field. He's the number one cornerback in every single recruiting service, whether that be Rivals, 247, On3, ESPN, Scout, you name it. And recently, he made his college commitment. We have breaking news. A five-star cornerback just made his college decision. Ryan Baker was born and raised in Miami, Florida, but everyone thought that he was going to play for the Hurricanes. Either them, Florida, or Florida State. But last week, Ryan went to a LSU game, and he had a tour around the stadium and all of the facilities, including the basketball facility. Ryan felt at home when he was at LSU. He thought that playing against the best of the best in the SEC would be the best for his future, and Ryan would get developed by some of the best coaching in all of America. America at LSU. Going back to Dade County from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, it would be a tweet that comes out from Arthur Van Ness, the head recruiting analyst at 247 Sports, where he says, breaking, five-star cornerback Ryan Baker from Miami Central in Florida commits to LSU. Death Valley's getting another star. Ryan Baker, in my opinion, is hands down the best cornerback in all the high school football. He's one of those true lockdown corners where he's going to shut down the side of the field for an entire game. My player comparison for him is Andrew Ray. And I think that he was even more polished than Andrew Rice coming out. When Andrew Rice was coming out of high school, he was a huge talent, but he had a lot of question marks. He was pretty raw. The talent was obviously there, but the mechanics were pretty raw, and he had to be coached up. And so far, he's been coached up at Clemson. And I think that Ryan could be even coached up even more at LSU, and he might even turn out to be a better player than Andrew Rice. And that's a lot for him to live up to, because Andrew Rice has already won the Benerick Award. He's already won the Thorpe Award. He's already won the National Championship championship so that'll be hard for ryan to live up to but i think that he still has greatness in his future for sure now i normally get play-by-play -play live calls when i report on these games but today i won't be but i will be checking them after every single quarter and i will give you my post game analysis so let's go to miami florida Traz powell stadium where we have the miami central rockets going up against the booker t washington tornadoes Traz Powell Stadium, the mecca of South Florida high school football. Miami Central versus Booker T. Washington.
And that will be the end of the first quarter. Miami Central is up 7-0 over Booker T. Washington. We have a very competitive game at halftime. 14 to 7. Miami Central up over Booker T. Washington. Welcome to the halftime show presented to you by the Reason Sports Universe. If you want to be a character on this channel, you want to see yourself featured in any type of videos on this channel, then make sure you watch this video right here. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. You can also view your player's season and career stats online. The link will be in the description. I also added a social media feature for the universe to be more immersive. The link to that video will also be in the description. If you don't have Patreon but you still want to be featured on the channel more, then make sure you're active in the comment section. You being consistently active reminds me to put you on the channel in some way. When you submit a form, your character will be put in the universe. You can see yourself in a live stream or video when teams play, but it's highly unlikely that you'll see me controlling your player throughout a game if you don't have Patreon. Signing up with Patreon gives you control over attributes, accessories, gives you a GTA face, control over your backstory, and you'll be one of the best players in the universe.
Scoreless third quarter. The score remains 14 to 7. I wonder who's going to come out victorious in the fourth. And that's the game, 21-7. The Miami Central defense held up, and they closed the show. What a performance by that defensive unit. Player of the game is Tony Parks with 22 carries, 131 rushing yards, two touchdowns, two catches for 56 yards. The star of this game was the Miami Central defense and that run game. Shout out to them. Shamar Baker did his thing as well on the receiving end. Cam Dakotas had himself a shaky game, but Central had themselves a good team performance. Very impressive win over Booker T. Washington. And now, I think that these guys should be ranked in the top 25 for sure. You gotta put Miami Central in the top 25. They're 4-0 now.
you want to see two five-star quarterbacks face up against each other, then click this video right here.